All right, so we're working on Pong. And in the last video, I promised I'd show you how to um, add sound effects here. So um, really, just about anything you want to do in Micro Worlds, there's uh, help for it somewhere in the environment. So let's look in Micro Worlds EX Help under Fundamentals. And it says buttons, audio, video, hyperlinks here for more Microworlds EX objects. I'll click on that. And it says media objects, music, sounds, movies. Okay, so this shows you how you can import movies and music and all kinds of razzmatazz. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, there's, there's one there's a, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here for you to read, uh, and um, it's well worth looking at. One of the things to notice is that you have the choice of embedding um, sound and video into projects. I like choosing the embedding thing because what that means is basically the video or the music becomes part of the physical file that your project is saved in. So if you move your file to an, uh, uh, your your project to another computer or something. Um, you know, the sound will still be there. Um, let's see. So I'm, I'm just going to do... Oh, and, and the other thing is, remember how we said with text box, you automatically get um, a procedure, you know, because our, our text box was named score, so we automatically got procedures named set score and score were automatically created for us. Um, so this is a similar idea with um, with uh, sounds that um, you can just type in the name of the sound and um, and it'll play. So I'll I'll show you that. But again, like I said, I, it's well worth going through. There you can you can um, import music and sounds into Turtles Backpack. That was that audio tab that we saw before. Um, you know, so there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. You can record your own sounds and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go in depth into all this stuff, but I'm just going to show you one um, you know, way to import a sound. So I'm going to go to File, Import, I'm going to say Import Sound, and oh, so the place to go for this is you want to look under Applications. There are a bunch of uh, there's a lot of media already stored in uh, along with Microworlds EX. So I'm going to go here. I got Microworlds EX, um, and I'm going to I'm importing a sound, and I want to embed it in the project. So I'm going to click on here, and let's just get a fanfare sound. It's like you know, just to, for our starting up noise, um, and there. Are, there are different, you know, tricks to making it so that you can um, play sound while other actions going on and stuff like that. Like I said, that's all in the um, in the help. I'll let you look at that. But if we if we click on this guy, so now we've imported the fanfare. If we click on this, guy, it makes the sound. <clears throat> but we can also, like I said, we also have this um, procedure name now called fanfare. Now that this is loaded up. And he plays. Okay, we have to have imported this before this becomes a, you know, an actual uh, procedure name. Okay, if, if you didn't import fanfare, then just type in fanfare in here. He's going to say, I, I don't know how to fanfare. Okay, um, what I would do is. Um, so we know how to make it play. So we can stick that into our get started. Now I want to put that in our get started. I think um, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to stick it in after a set score and before announce. Let's see how I like that. Okay. So now get started. When I say get started, it's going to include fanfare. So now let's try to get started. Again. Get started. Okay. okay. 
Um, I think what I want, and, and since get started is in my button, right? It says get started. Since I changed what get started does, it's going to change it in here. It's going to also do the fanfare here. So the one last thing I would do is um, just hide this guy. It doesn't really need to be visible. So, uh, so I'm doing a control click on the Mac, probably a right click on Windows, and say hide. And, and now he'll still play. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, all right, so then in the, the next video, we'll go on to the next step. Oh, but before we go, let's save, right? Okay, so save project, and then in the next video, we'll go on to step seven.